Hello, Internet. Jesus loves you. My name's Cody, and this is the Christian News Show on Tuesdays and Thursdays with GeeksUnderGrace.com. And I must say, I am very happy that I get to make a video for you today because my power was out yesterday the entire time from like 10 a.m. to 1 in the morning. Plus, it'd be super weird not to have a video before Easter. I mean, this is the Christian News Show. So first of all, happy Easter. And second of all, I'm awesome at Sedways, and our next story is about Easter. And there really wasn't a lot on Easter, surprisingly. I assume probably more stories will happen after the fact. But this particular story is about Pastor Rick Warren and the Saddleback Church, because for Easter alone, they will be having 57 church services. And because technology is awesome, they will all be given by Pastor Rick Warren. Basically, he's going to do the first service in person, then they will film that and play it on all sorts of different campuses. You couldn't do that 10 years ago. It's always kind of crazy to me to think about it. I get about 100 views consistently on these videos, and that's 100 people that I probably most likely don't know. Yet, I could talk to you like we're in the same room and I'm standing right in front of you. Technology is crazy, we're living in the future, Moving on. Our next story is something that I don't really think is a story, just kind of an article that I thought was really cool. Like, I promise when I found it, I thought that it was one. It just isn't. In Texas, there's this thing they call the prayer garden. And looking at it, it looks beautiful. There's a 77 foot cross right in the middle of it. And the place is filled with Christian art along with, you know, park type stuff, rocks, greenery, that kind of thing. And apparently a lot of people are finding Jesus there. And that's a story in itself, I think, worth mentioning. Also got a cool fact, they based it heavily off of Israel's scenery, and it's actually on the exact same latitude as Israel. I don't know, I read that, I read that people are getting saved there. I just think it's awesome in general. I would love to have something like that here in Denver. Maybe there is. I haven't really checked, but it sounds really cool. Not that you have to go to some fancy place to pray, but I'm sure going there, you can just feel the Holy Spirit throughout the place. The Bible says where two or more gather, I am there also. I just, I imagine it's a very cool experience. And if we go to the final story of the day, apparently we need that. According to a new study by a journal called Sage Open, Americans are less Christian and praying less than ever before. And honestly, this makes sense. We've been hearing that Christianity is on the decline in the United States over the last few years. Prayer really kind of makes sense if you're going with that. The weird one though, is that more and more Americans are actually believing that there is an afterlife and just not necessarily a Christian afterlife. And that's weird to me because I always think that atheism is on the rise if Christianity is not, but this is making it seem that there's more of that spiritual aspect to people still. And I live here in Colorado, so we have, not to bash them by any means, more of a hippie-ish culture, so I kind of can see that. I hear things all the time, like people just saying that they live for positive vibes. And at the end of these discussions, you realize that the United States has become more self-centered than it already was. And I think that goes into our faith. A lot of people think that it has to do with them. People start to think that the purpose of life is to find my happiness and my joy and my contentment. This is what I need to be doing for me. Though, you should love and embrace who you are. You should also love your neighbors as yourself. And we've completely forgotten that part, I think. Twisting it so much that if we even do something for someone else, it's because we know it'll make us feel good. But I've completely derailed this video, so I'm gonna end it there. Question of the day, what are your Easter plans? I know that most of you, even if you're atheist, go to like Easter family dinner stuff. So I wanna know what everyone has to say. So please leave a comment in the comment section down below with your answer. Make sure you check out geeksundergrace.com for more geeky content. My name's Cody Armour, bringing you Christian news in a not so boring kind of way every Tuesday and Thursday. In closing, let the haters hate, let the Christians pray, and to everybody like, subscribe. I will see you guys later, and God bless.